Hi everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel where you will find mostly affordable, practical, and easy DIYs. Today's project is a high-end dupe and I'll be using only Dollar Tree materials for the main base of this project. And the handle, I actually used the ones in my stash that I got at Amazon and it's only 50 cents each but you can easily replace it with anything. And here's the photo of the finished project. So let's get started. You will need eight pieces of these blocks that are from Dollar Tree. I ordered mine online because I couldn't find them at my store, but other bigger stores have them usually at the crafting aisle. And I'll be using this iron label drawer pull that I got at Amazon. It comes in a pack of 20 pieces for $9.99. You will also need wood glue. For this project, in the interest of time, I used my hot glue gun and glue sticks. I suggest using wood glue or E6000 for a stronger hold, especially if you plan to use this as a gift or even for yourself. For me, my projects with hot glue stay long but if in your location you are in a hot humid place you're probably better off with wood glue or e6000 or any commercial grade glue now i'm just lining up two boxes together making sure that there's no overhang making sure that they line up because they are not always even after all, they're just from Dollar Tree. I'm not undermining the products there, but as you know that a lot of the products there, they're not created equal. So I'm just giving you that precaution. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be applying the glue thinly. As you can see here, almost flat. I'm trying to make sure that there's no thick application of my hot glue because when it dries up, I do not want to create gaps in between the two boxes because if it dries up thick then that would more than likely create some gaps so I'm trying to make sure that I flatten this as much as possible so I try to adjust as fast as I could before the hot glue dries up because it dries really fast and like I said, I make sure that they are flat and connected well. I am just going to repeat the same steps up to the fourth pair, connecting them one on top of the other with the same method. Like you see here, thin and flat application of glue. No big blobs that will create gaps whenever I connect them and then lining them up like so then adjusting and then straightening it and then pushing it to make sure it's aligned and then press it some more and here they are so next what I'm gonna do is connect the four boxes together by putting them sideways. So what I'm gonna do is the first pair I will put sideways and then I am going to be applying hot glue, again thin and flat, no blobs again. And then I am going to be connecting the second pair on top of it, making sure that I line up the boxes so that they look even. And then I am just going to connect them all that way. So on top of these two pairs, I'm going to put the third pair and then on top of that will be the fourth pair. Thank you. 
As you can see, I waited too long on this one. So I tried to apply more glue and then make sure that there's not any gap on the sides. And voila! Now, even though I tried to make it as perfect as I could, there are still some gaps, but it's not gonna be as noticeable as when you are not too careful with it. So just a tip for you. Now, what I'm gonna do here is invert it so that the drawer's front will go towards the back but what I've noticed here by the way there are two drawers the first drawer and then the number seven drawer wouldn't fit when I put it backwards or in reverse so what I'm doing is I've replaced them with another design so if you notice the first ones were in heart design so I chose now the floral or flower design. I still have some heart designs there, but they wouldn't fit for some reason. Doesn't matter because it will not show up front anyway. Now to put the drawer pull, I'm putting them while my box is laying down face up. And I'm using my E6000 here. I don't think you can use hot glue here. I've tried, to be honest. I've tried and it wouldn't adhere. So metal and wood with hot glue, for some reason, doesn't work. So what I'm using here is my E6000 and I am just gonna be applying my E6000 to the sides where the screws would usually go. Now, if you ask me if this came with screws, yes, the set came with screws. However, because the wood is not thick enough and the screws are too long, they will be protruding. And besides, I do not have the patience to put all those screws, all 16 screws on each drawer. And the problem is because the wood is thin, it may break. So I might as well just use my E6000 and then dry it up overnight for a stronger hold. And I'm just making sure before I put it down because I have time here. It's not like hot glue that it dries up fast. You need hours to cure this. So I'm just removing any dirt or any web that I have created while applying my E6000 and then I'm eyeballing it here. I should notice those three there on the right, I haven't attached them yet. I'm just making sure that I place them where they would make sense and line them up centered. And then that's where my drawer pull is. Then I'm gonna be attaching all of the drawer pulls. And then making sure again that I press them well so that it'll dry up faster and I am waiting overnight to cure this. Now this is the next day. I'm just trying each drawer pull carefully and I'm glad that it dried up well and as you can see now instead of using wood stain I'm gonna be using my acrylic paint in nutmeg brown and I'm gonna be diluting it in water I do not have the exact measurement to be honest this is something that you probably would want to adjust yourself depending on how dark you want the stain is but the first time that I did it, it was so thin because I was using half a cup of water and then just putting my nutmeg brown acrylic paint and just adjusting it as I go. So look at this, this is very pale the first time I tried it. I was trying to experiment what kind of stain look that I would like. So I think I used too much water here so I have decided to reduce my water to a fourth of a cup instead of half a cup and then added more acrylic paint. 
So around a fourth of water, fourth cup of water, plus maybe 20 to 25 drops of acrylic paint. And then making sure when I was applying, I didn't go too wet on it. I was making sure that I dried the brush a little bit. And then I applied three coats of paint all over this apothecary or wooden cube chest. And even the interior of the boxes, I painted them as well. Now it took me a while, but it worked out just fine. So here I'm just showing you that there were some rough edges there. So I just used sandpaper. Actually, I used just a nail filer, but you can use medium grit sandpaper. Before you paint, you have to remove the dust. Otherwise, they will show up. And then I continued painting. Again, like I said, you can use stain, a real wood stain on this one, but I didn't have any. So I just use whatever I have and I keep the cost down as well. As a matter of fact, I have somewhat a similar setup, but I painted it in blue and green and I did it a few months back around springtime and I'll put a photo insert here and then I will be inserting the link in the description box and in the upper right hand corner of this video. I used only pure Dollar Tree items there because I use this to handle the tumbling blocks that they also sell at Dollar Tree at the toy section. So after painting everything and allowing it to dry, I am done and here it is. I love it. See that? Even the interior is painted so that it will look even more high-end if the interior is also finished and I love it and I can put my tea bags here or you can put spices as well the dry spices I have shown on that other video how you can cover those holes that were originally at the front so that you can camouflage them I love how it turned out. Let me know what you think. Does it look high-end enough? If you want to save money and if you want to give something that is handmade, you can use Dollar Tree materials like this one and you can give this as a gift. You can use this to also store small items, even jewelry, buttons if you sew, or even yarns that are or twines that come in small tubes or threads. The possibilities are endless. You can put K-cups here aside from tea bags if you want to use this for your kitchen, if you have a farmhouse kitchen. So many possibilities here and you can paint it any color you like. So again, thanks for joining me here today. Please leave me some comments down below and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. Have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again on my next video. Bye-bye.